Anyway, I came up here to, uh, what is your channel again? Baldwin, Baldwin 587. 587. Hey everybody, how's it going? Captain 233 here. I'm up here with Baldwin 587. And I'm here with Captain 1323. We're going to try to start this lawn boy. What is it? What model is this again? 7268 maybe? Yeah, the, the top belt drive. Yeah. No, this is an 8229A. Oh. It has been sitting for quite some time. I think it's four months. The problem with this one is that this pulley is completely screwed. And unfortunately the replacements are very expensive. So There was a guy who was gonna sorry. I was gonna get the parts off to fix it. And uh Well he was the one forget that camera. Uh yeah, don't mind all the junk. I won't even put the handles on, I ain't gonna use it. wobbling away there. Yeah. This thing sat with an open cylinder for 20 years in that scrapyard. Turn the gas on too. Yeah. I gotta figure out, what looks like happened is that... The bearing failed on the inside. And then right this be. just carved its way into that bracket piece there. Yeah. And that was the end of that. I know this mower. Okay, very well then. All right, good. Runs like a top. Now you put it in drive and let it run away. If it had the belt. Yeah. If it had a pulley. That never happened before. That but is a clamped out on off switch. It's never done that before. Really? How hard you turn it? Not very hard. Huh, that's weird. Oh, whatever. I'll just put a, I don't know, I'll put a knife switch on it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them where they do the thing where they put the, um, little toggle switch. I've seen a lot of them where they just put the doorbell button on the side. Oh, yeah. And press it in. Yeah, that one's actually never acted up before. That's weird. Yeah, it, it runs amazingly smooth for how clapped out it is. It has almost no compression. The only reason it has compression is because I fill it up with 80-90 every time I stop it. That's not too bad. You should have seen it when I got it. I spun it with a drill for about 20 minutes before it fired. I seem to remember that. Yes, it's on YouTube. And then it exploded its exhaust donut. Not that I ever fixed it. <laughs> yeah, you see... The problem with this is that this pulley, which should be spinning like that, the bearing went bad. You can actually see how it's not centered anymore. It went to the side and it carved into this bracket. And that was the end of that. And these pulleys are absurdly expensive, which is why it's just been resigned to be a push mower at this point. Brush mower is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Got a bunch of these uh, NOS magnesium air filter covers back home. So do I. For some reason, all the old dealers seem to have tons of them. Never seen one break. 